different opponent and maybe not as athletic as the one on Saturday night. But did you guys kind of answer the challenge in a way defensively? Is that what you were trying to do tonight? Uh, yeah, we definitely answered the challenge. I mean, we took that personal. Uh, the team that showed up against UCF is not us. And, uh, I mean, we just got back to what we what we do, all the little things. And uh, uh, we were able to show what we're capable of today. Describe this team a little bit, because it seems like, well, I know MJ Walker has been leading the team in scoring, but it also you also have other players that can lead fill that void too, like Scotty one night, yourself. Just talk about the depth that you have on this team. I mean, yeah, I, everybody on the team is, is uh, capable of scoring the ball, I feel like. And uh, I don't think we have one guy that uh, is not able to put points up if uh, somebody uh, is not scoring a certain night. So I feel like it's a lot of us that can contribute on different things. So if somebody doesn't show up one night, uh, we know for sure that somebody else is going to step up. Anthony, you've played in a lot of college basketball games uh, in your career. Uh, and I mean, uh, you're now a, a redshirt junior. When you look around the stadium, you know, home, away, and there aren't fans or there's only limited fans, what does creating your own energy look like? Uh, I mean, we, work, we, we worked on that a lot. Uh, we just got to create our own energy by talking, pointing, uh, yeah, just talking to each other, uh, telling each other uh, little things, what we have to do, being in the gap, I got your help. And uh, just, yeah, mostly like talking and pointing is what creates and brings our own energy, especially on the road. Speaking of on the road, Anthony, you're going into uh, Little John Coliseum. <laughs> Uh, you've played there a number of times and, and, you know, so it's an ACC schedule now. I mean, you, out of conference is behind you. It's, it's now, you know, going against pretty much grown men most nights. Uh, what, what kind of lessons learned or, or just kind of junior senior leadership, you know, have, have you been sharing maybe with some of the younger guys or, or just less experienced guys about what to expect against a team like Clemson? Uh, I mean, on the road is definitely important that we bring our uh, defense like we did tonight, uh, be dominant in the little things because you never know. Uh, it's not our home rim, so it's not like we practice there every day. So we gotta be uh, we gotta be sure to bring our defense uh, over at wherever we play. For example, so we we about to play Clemson, so it's gonna be there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I say that bring our defense. Anthony, how big was uh, Evans hit? Maybe the two big, I mean, I know you guys had a really tough night shooting for a really good shooting team. You guys couldn't buy one, but Ray Evans hit two big ones. I think it's two first threes of the year in the second half. How good was that to see? Because I feel like uh, he's the guy that's going to be important to you guys the whole season, really. And you need that kind of spark off the bench. Yeah. I mean, we've been telling him to shoot the ball. He has a, he has a great shot. He, he's extremely consistent in practice shooting the ball. And we've been telling him to when, when he, whenever he has, the opportunity to shoot a shooter because he's a really good shooter. And tonight he showed that he the ball and uh, knocked them down when we need. How had, frustrating was that, Anthony? Just for you, I think you guys were shooting around 40% from three coming into this game and, and really struggled. Just how frustrating was that night because you were playing so well on the other end of the floor? Uh, I mean, yeah, some, some days it's like that. And uh, that's when, uh, you, we got to go to other things, driving the ball. I think we did a much better job driving the ball, uh, getting to the free throw line, and uh, uh, finding a way. All right. You've had um, six games six games in the span of kind of 19 days. How do you kind of decompress, uh, especially during this time, during uh, a pandemic at that? I know you're going to be kind of in the bubble. So how, what is your holiday going to kind of look like? I mean, just – I'd say watching a lot of film, uh, trying to uh, rest and uh, recover as much as possible and uh, learn because we, we're going to have a, a quick uh, turnaround and ACC play is going to be very intense. So just starting to study uh, our opponents and, uh, yeah. Uh, You've, you've had uh, four games now in, in double figures. Are, are, how comfortable are you with an increased role, increased minutes? Just how comfortable are you now? I mean, I feel like I'm improving every day. Every day I'm learning more. Uh, I feel like uh, I can still give more on the defensive end. And then 
I'm not too worried about the offensive side. Um, whatever comes, comes. I mean, I've been in the gym uh, practicing, shooting. Uh, so when uh, my team has helped me, uh, uh, I know I'm, I'm pretty confident on my shot this year. So when uh, Scotty, Ray, Kirk, MJ drop in the paint, they create health and then kick it out. They're ready to knock it down. What, what is it about that left corner, man? I mean, that seems like it, if you're open in the left corner, it's, it's you know, put it on the scoreboard. It, has that always been uh, been your, your preferred spot? Uh, I've been shooting a lot. I've been practicing a lot in the corners. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this summer, I've been uh, putting an emphasis in the corner. If I get the ball in the corner, it's got to go down. So, yeah. Is, is that coming from uh, – I mean, I know – I watch a lot of NBA and corner three seems like the, you know, maybe the second best shot in the NBA besides, besides an open long dunk or layup. Is that, is that coming from like your, your dad's pro background or is that just something you took upon yourself to practice from the corner? Uh, that's something I took upon myself. And then the way we play uh, corners uh, often uh, open and all because uh, the deep, the way the deep play us. So, I mean, and then, yeah, just watching the film, that's a shot that I can get more than likely often. And so I just got to be ready to knock them down at a high point. Well, Anthony, well, kudos. You've definitely put in the work. Yeah, Anthony had nine rebounds tonight. Um, and, you know, we mentioned earlier that Coach Challenge, you guys to be a better rebounding team. The way you guys defend and the system that you have when you're denying and you're high in the passing lanes, what is the key for a guard in the system to be able to have a nine rebound game? Uh, just reading the game. Block, make sure, making sure we're blocking out and then being the first one to hit and get the rebound, really. Get off the floor uh, first. Cool. Everyone appreciate else. you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good Christmas. I appreciate hey, it. Man.